guys, thank you for tuning into Amy's Crypt. I'm just walking through Corregidor Island, which is a small island off of the coast of the Philippines. I'm just walking towards an old abandoned military hospital, which is said to be the most haunted place on the island and extremely active. So I can't wait to get there and show you guys around. Corregidor Island is thought to be one of the most haunted places in the Philippines. It lies just off the coast of Manila and during World War II was an important stronghold occupied by both the US and Japanese armed forces at differing times. The island saw numerous battles, bombs dropped upon it and huge amounts of casualties. Many of the structures that sustained damage during the war are still located on the island today. These ruins hold secrets to the past and are claimed to be extremely haunted. In particular, the island's old hospital. Alright guys, so we're stuck on Corregidor Island. It's supposed to be insanely haunted for 48 hours. There's only like one boat that leaves each day and we already just got dropped off. So we're going to be spending a couple of nights here, which is exciting. But what is so cool about the island is there's only one other couple that is also staying here. I think there's a handful of people that live on the island, but there's really not going to be a lot of other people around, especially when nightfall hits. So it's going to be cool to explore, but it is surrounded by this dense jungle and I keep hearing animals in the trees and I can't actually see through all of the dense vegetation to see what the animal is. So I'm curious to know what the hell is out here with us. <laughs> We've just come across a structure. I don't believe that it's the hospital. It's on the way to the hospital, definitely. Unless we're lost like we usually are, but I'm not sure what this one is. And what's so cool about this island, and you'll see plenty of episodes on my channel, is it is just full of these decayed, abandoned buildings. This one, you can actually see right underneath it past this tree's roots even. And a lot of them are very destroyed because during World War II there was air raid bombings here and a lot of the buildings, you know, copped it pretty bad. What is crazy is you can see evidence of bullets hitting the side of the building. There's a whole bunch of bullet holes. And don't worry guys, I'm gonna go over the history of this place a little bit more in depth when we get to the hospital. So we've just found it guys. This is gonna be really cool. What's going on? I think we've got monkeys. Where? On this tree. Oh, they're all on the path up there. I don't know if this island had monkeys. Me either. Should we go closer or...? I don't know. Is that name like attack? You can hear... Oh, this one just here. This one right there. So cute. <laughs> it's looking at me the same way I'm looking at it. <laughs> like, what the f*** is that? <laughs> All right, sorry guys, we're here to see the haunted hospital, not the monkeys, but I just get overly excited anytime I see animals on these adventures. <laughs> this place looks amazing, I can tell. It looks very spooky. It could be a setting for a horror movie or a video game or something. It's really huge as well. So we've just circled the perimeter of the hospital and we we're looking for a good path in there really isn't one this is the closest you know pathway leading in that means or it leads me to think that not a lot of people go inside it's like it's super overgrown in that i actually thought it would be a bit more maintained than it is but we gotta head in 
this place, like a lot of the other places here on Karegida Island, super bad condition. Everything has holes in it, cracks in it, everything is crumbling. I mean, there's a hole in the roof here. Parts of the structure are just hanging. There's a massive hole on the floor. This was the main military hospital on Corregidor Island. This island was actually played an important role in World War II, particularly surrounding the Philippines. So the island is essentially the key to Manila Bay and Manila. So it was a spot that was really sought after by both the US and Japan. And in fact, it had been occupied by both the US and Japan at differing times and Japan seized it. And then a few years later, the US uh, got the island back. But there was a lot of battles here, an extreme amount of death. And a lot of people suffered and lived out the remainder of their lives in pain in this hospital. And that is one of the reasons why it's thought to be so haunted. And there's a lot of reports here of paranormal activity, all sorts of things from disembodied voices to poltergeist activity and apparition sightings. We're gonna explore around. I mean, this is the island's most haunted location, supposedly. Since we are staying here the night, we're definitely gonna come back and conduct some paranormal um, investigations in the dark. And I'm sure this place takes on a different feeling in the dark of night as well. In uh, when I was filming at one of the barracks here, there was a big spray painted cross not sure if that's graffiti or that's something left over from when this place was a hospital. Though I have seen some things on the wall. This one says jumping boy. It's possible that it's graffiti, but if you haven't noticed already, there isn't a lot of typical graffiti here and that's because this place is on a remote little island uh, just off the coast of Manila. So if you want to come here, you need to spend the money on the ferry and buying a tour or paying to stay here, uh, such as we did. So, I mean, it's not the place that like, typical thugs would come and hang out. So it's just saying how dangerous this place is. And this pretty much illustrates that. That's a great example of the dangers here. This place is so Super scary and freaky looking. I think what makes it even scarier is the fact that it's in such poor condition. I mean, we just walked in and there's parts of it that are crumbling. Uh, the floor's caving in or has holes in it. The same with the walls and ceilings in a lot of the areas. So it does scare me. Jared? Scare me, scare me, scare me, scare me. There's just a really loud noise over here. And I don't know where Jared is. Jared! What was that? Okay, so I'm not worried if that was paranormal. I'm also worried that something has fallen or something might crumble and fall and I could get really hurt. <laughs> Yeah, there's a lot of things just falling from the ceiling. And I did mention earlier, there was a lot of air raids and bombings here. So a lot of these buildings have actually been structurally damaged by bombs. Maybe there's women haunting this place as well. I don't have specifics on who ghosts might be, whether they were nurses, doctors, maybe people who died here from injuries. Peace, 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 peace. That's a monkey, right? Gotta be. 
This is part of your home, help keep it clean. So the people staying here, they were told to treat it as if it was their home. This is like a balcony. We're on an upper level now. Look at these pillars, they're just suspended by the metal inside them now. What the hell is that about? I don't know if this is some kind of political graffiti and I actually have no idea what the meaning is behind it or who these people could be. Men who are condemned without trial, do or die. They have this one here as well. Holy Satans. Jabadiah's Holy Satans. I don't know what that is either. I say we do a spirit box in that Satan's room after, later tonight. Yeah, that's a good idea. Oh, look at this one. I don't know who these people are. Maybe we'll have to look them up or something. Maybe they're some of the ghosts. It makes me really nervous being up here because I don't want to fall through the ceiling. Through the floor. No graffiti up here too. <laughs> Which means no one, people don't want to come up here. <laughs> no one's probably stupid enough to come up here except us. That is what we're standing on. Cool. There's no monkey up here either. Even the monkeys don't come. Oh, you're kidding me. We're going back down. So there's actual gunshots up here as well so even the hospital came under fire during all of these great battles here and oh, this place just wouldn't have been a pleasant place back in the day I can imagine Is it a bat or is it a bird? Oh, bats. Ten of them flew out. Yeah, there was a lot. That scared the shit out of me. <laughs> this is f***ing so dodgy. You can see through all the f***ing holes in them. Why would you tell me that's okay? This is where I heard the noise. What noise? Remember when I was walking down the stairs and you heard that doink? Oh, that was from the stairs though. Well, either way, it came from down here. Ooh, look at that shadow. That's creepy. This is maybe actually the creepiest part. That column isn't even attached anymore. What? Yeah, it's probably also the least, da at least safe part as well. Yeah, probably. So a lot of the creepy things said to occur in this abandoned military hospital are people hearing footsteps when there is no one else around. There's also uh, said to be whispers come up in people's ears again when there's no one around. People have also claimed to hear the goings on of a normal hospital. Uh, so the hustle and bustle as if this place was still in operation. There's also been apparition sightings as well as shadow figure sightings and orbs which people have captured in photographs. So there's a lot of activity that goes on here, which makes sense. And if you guys wanna see me come back tonight and do a paranormal investigation, make sure to hit subscribe. I should also mention the wails and moans of people in pain, also said to be heard here, which makes complete sense being a military hospital. It's scary to think about what went on here. Hanging 
And it also says danger keep out, Joe. I know. dangerous that I can see but it also doesn't look like there's much to see in there really. Uh, just over here on the wall behind me it says no one is allowed to enter this room. Can you touch one of us? Danger, keep out. It's on my legs. Sounds like screams, but I'm getting so scared. Got a lot of moans and cries, thuds coming from above me. Let us know you're here. It's like a really heavy breath in my ear. <laughs> Did you see? It? Oh my god! Let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you want to see more of this haunted hospital, make sure to hit subscribe because I have a part two coming really soon where I return at night time to do a paranormal investigation. If you did enjoy this part one video though, please remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. If you want to do a bit more reading on this island and its haunted ghost stories, make sure to head to amyscrypt.com. You can also follow me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter at amyscrypt. Until next time, 